graders, my beautiful palm tree. It's growing pretty nice in our tropical classroom here at Newton D. Baker. All right, so today we're going to continue with systems of equations doing elimination, but what happens if they don't eliminate? What do we do? Well, we're going to learn that we might have to multiply first sometimes. Sometimes they won't eliminate. Things just don't go away like we need them to. So we have to force them to by using our amazing math and algebra skills, okay? All right, so we're using the same five steps we used yesterday. So if you don't have that list of five steps, get that list back out. And I want you to put in parentheses, before step one, multiply first. Because sometimes we're gonna have to do that, all right? So we're gonna take a look at one where we have to do that. This problem is not cool or something wrong with it. So normally we add these equations down and what happens is they'll eliminate. One of something's gonna eliminate or go away, become zero with the variable. However, um, this one won't. Like if we add up the x's, 2x plus 5x is 7x, that does not eliminate. 3y minus 1y becomes 2y. That also does not eliminate. So what do we have to do? We have to fix this, right? So there's a couple ways I can go about it. Um, and that's by multiplying the entire equation by something, okay? So I could turn this into a 10 by multiplying by 5. And I could turn this into a negative 10 by multiplying by negative 2. So then those would eliminate. But, hey, how you doing? And then, um, or I could just say this is a 3y. I want to turn this into a negative 3y. That's a little easier. I can multiply this whole equation by 3, and this will become negative 3. Right? So when they say multiply first, in order to make these y's go away, I'm going to turn this into a negative 3 by multiplying this entire equation by 3. All right? So I'm going to show you how that makes the y's eliminate, all right? So we didn't distribute. You guys have done distributing before, right? Multiply everything. And then people forget this last number. Make sure you multiply the last number, too, okay? So all three numbers are multiplying by 3. So a 3 times 5 is 15x. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3y. And then 3 times 13 is 39. All right, so now that I did that, we're not gonna use this anymore, okay? We're gonna use this equation and this equation. And now if you look, 3y minus 3y, now those y's will go away, whereas before they wouldn't, all right? So now we can add our, now we can start at step one. I know, this is, these are long, right? I told you that things are gonna get long, they're gonna get messy, and I have to do a lot of algebra. All right, so. 2x plus 15x, 17x. 3y minus 3y, gone, which is good. 39 plus 12, 51. All right. So how many 17s go into 51? We divide by 17, right? It sounds like it's not going to work, but it does. 17 goes into 51 three times. So x is 3, OK? So we are halfway done. We got our x is 3. Now I'm going to take this 3x, we're on step 3, plug this back in to, for one of the x's. So I can plug it in here, or I can plug it in here. Well, these numbers are smaller. I'm just going to use that one. All right, so I'm going to take this 3, and put it all the way, I'm going to put it right there. So x is 3. I could, that means I can turn that into a 3, OK? So now I have 2 times 3. plus 3y equals 12. 
Okay, so we just start solving it now, right? Step four, solve this for y. Six plus three y equals 12. I did two times three. Subtract six from each side. Three y equals six. Then we just divide by three. Y equals two. Got our answer. Three comma two, right? Three comma two. So we always put our answer in X comma Y form. All right, so it's a big, hairy, messy algebra problem. But it's nothing that hard. It's remembering the steps. That's why if you have that list in front of you, it's gonna help. Multiply first if it won't eliminate, all right? Like that was, those weren't going to go away, so I had to multiply first. So you may have to watch this video a couple times, go through it slowly, and when you do a problem, you may have to look at this to figure it out, okay? That's all I got.